Hello everyone, this is Butamus playing Legendary. We're back with Janky Janitor, dude. Hey, McBoozy. Hey, personal space? Personal space, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, shout out again to Will Boski. He's giving me this game. Kaiju? Oh. Okay. Any more? Okay, I think. Oh, more. I'm just gonna download it all and then we're gonna read it in one big go. Information dump time. The Signet and Animus. Signet gives me ability to lord a update. The council believes that same Animus energy that gives the creatures their life force is present throughout the universe. But it is nearly undetectable by modern science. Pandora's box was something like an ancient radio that was able to tune into the frequency of Animus and use that to draw on the creatures. History of Pandora's box. For recorded history, creatures that would one day be regarded as myths roam the earth as living flesh and blood animals. The unique connection to the animus vitae, the hidden energy that binds and balances the universe, made the masters of the earth. Griffins, fire drakes, nari werewolves, and others ensured that nature maintained equilibrium, that no one species ever gained absolute dominance over the others. Then humanity evolved. Physically weak compared to the creatures, humans learned to use tools against the vicious monsters that routinely culled their numbers. While escaping a creature attack, a small tribe of humans and encountered a mysterious rock that had its own connection to the Animus Vitae. The hum ooh, humans carved and polished the, the rock into what would become known as Pandora's Box. They used the artifact to reach out to all creatures bound to Animus Vitae and banish them from the face of the earth. The tribe became the guardians of Pandora's Box, protecting it from anyone who sought to use its power again. Their descendants e expanded this mandate to encompass any new technology that humanity at large was deemed not wise enough to use responsibly. They became a hidden society called the Council of Ninety Eight. More confrontational than the members of more confrontational members of the Council argued against hiding away knowledge that could be used to advance humanity and split off from the Council to seek their own destiny as the Black Order. Council Dossier White Deer Lexington Council Archives Data Store Classified which Data Store Subject White Deer Lexington Field Commander Council of Ninety Eight Status Active Summary United States citizen of Native American descent. Name is reference to family's participation in American Revolution. Details unconfirmed. Joined U.S. Army at 18. Admitted to Ranger School at Fort Benning. Served in Operation Desert Storm in Iraq, 1991. Recruited into council by former Army commanding officer. Is one of the approximately one dozen council field commanders spread across the globe. Responsible for coordinating clandestine operations and crisis response teams. End of line. The Black Order. More updates. The Black Order split from the Council of 98 in the ancient past over how best to use the power of Pandora's box. Members of the fledgling order believed that the mere possession of the artifact gave them the divine right to use it as they saw fit. As the centuries passed and the schism between the two organizations grew to full-scale war, the Black Order expanded its philosophy to include the exploitation of all advanced knowledge, often taking the doctrine of might makes right to dangerous extremes. Eeh. Council dossier. Kane, Vivian, Enemy Operative, Black Order, Status Active, Threat Level, Detain, Summary. Born in South Africa to wealthy parents of British Oregon, returned to England at age 5. Childhood unremarkable, was an excellent student, accepted to Oxford at 16, wow, graduated with degrees in engineering and anthropology, believed to have been recruited into Black Order during senior year research trip to Grecian Isles. Began field operations in 2000. All known missions completed without major incident. Likely to have deep knowledge of Black Order operations and procedures. Recommend detention and interrogation. End of line. Any more information for me? This stuff is actually pretty interesting. Pandora's box has been around for a while, apparently, and you guys have just kind of been holding out. You didn't warn anybody about it. <sighs> Wait, can I go in the armory? Ooh. Nice. Oh, there's something in there. How do I get in there, dude? I do? 
Message received. Thomas, don't really give these out to the lads. I'm trying to find some perfect range. Some people complain the stream of fire is too long. Some want it to go even longer. Anyways, just keep them locked up. <gasps> so shotgun. SMG. Flamethrower. I want the grenade. Grenade? Yes. Okay. Anything else good? Okay. Woohoo! Okay. Hi guys, I have a flamethrower. Oh, thank you. Any more data I can steal here? Interesting area. Oh, release fire Drake. Oh. I don't like water. What else do we have going on here? Biology can't happen handle rapid temperature changes. Who's biology? What are these? Some are humans. Activate and form control device. Nice. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, data, do you have information? Information. Talking to me? What are you guys doing up here? Ooh, we've got a huge operation in this place. Oh, thank you. Let's see. Release Fire Drake. Release Werewolf. Purge. You don't do anything. Release test drone. Minotaur. Thank you, thank you. Let's just do release test drone. Uh, I don't like that. Interesting. Wait. Why can't I get past you? There we go. Oh, Pandora's box is here. Hey, Pandy, how's it going?
Hold on a sec. Oh, it's really annoying in, uh... Cutscenes are really quiet for some reason. I can't. Oh, okay. I'm gonna make the rest of the game louder. out of here. That much is certain. Now over here. Here we go. Let's escape. Am I stuck on? Get to the rooftops, repel their Black Order attack. Signet. The Council of Akeheads tell me that the signet branded to my arm channels the life energy of the creature, something they call Animus Fitae. They say the box tampered with the signet as a failsafe device, and it contains encoded information on how to reverse the process and jam the monsters back inside Pandora's box. My ability to absorb and manipulate Animus is a byproduct of the failsafe device. Handy. Oxman, Lefay. The crazy has built a machine that can use Pandora's box to bring all the creatures under his control. He'll kill millions if he isn't stopped, including me. If LeFay's machine becomes fully operation, the feedback through the signet attached to my arm will kill me. Botched a robbery, caused a global disaster, and I'm imminent danger of being atomized by an insane man's doomsday machine. All in all, it's been a pretty lousy week. Yep. Not sure how to peg Lexington. He seems like a guy who wants to serve the greater good and all that. Chapola. But once in a while I get a strange vibe, like maybe he thinks he knows what's best for people better than they do. Huh, that doesn't sound good. Okay. wasn't too hard. You just had to walk over and hit E, guys. Come on. Why didn't you try hitting E? Dang, Nari. Uh. Hey, hurry, get on! Hello, red shirts. How you doing? I can't get to them. Where are they? This thing's awesome for taking out werewolves.
Wow, it kills them really fast. Elevator back online, sir. Okay, we're getting close to the top. So we saved none of the silent scientists, only the military people. What? Are you alive? Okay, you're alive at least. Where's your gunfire? Is that black order? Or is that us uh, shooting at creatures? What does that mean? This is not an assault rifle. Their heavy weapons are SMGs? It's not very heavy, guys. Okay, he's not quite as vulnerable to fire damage, but he doesn't like it at anyways. What's everyone screaming about? Hi! Oh. Did you just say rocket launcher? Oh yeah, baby. Okay, hold right mouse button to lock on target, fire, and forget. And it is slow. Billy Bear Gostum in Tech Shoulder Launch Anti-Air Missile Mark 7. With guided explosive rockets, the Slam 7 is powerful enough to gun almost any creature. Can track and lock on target so you can fire and forget. Wow, nice. Um, Griffin, update. The steel beams and rebar of modern buildings have proven to be a favorite of Griffin seeking to build a new nest. Which has drawn them to large cities across the globe. Although they prefer the meteor carcass of a werewolf, Griffins overcome their cat-like curiosity with humans and make a meal of them when hungry enough. Gotta try a rocket launcher on these overgrown birds, and we'll see who's the hunter and who's the hunted. Hmm. 
Whoa! Nice. Wait, are these? Which? Who shoot? Shooting at me? Oh, okay. What are you guys shooting at? Out of rockets. Please send more rockets. Yay! Rocket launcher! My flamethrower. Can I go back for my flamethrower? Don't you think the rocket launcher is cool? It's way too slow. Oh, here we go. Come here, baby. Yes. for the what? Whoa! Oh my Kraken. Let's just speak of the Krakens, the gigantic sea monsters. I couldn't agree more. Normal weapons won't even make it flinch. It'll take a rocket launcher. Even scratch it. Our goodness.